In this quick tutorial, I'm going to explain the structure of a video file like MP4, MKV, WebM, AVI, FLV or anything. We are all familiar with video files. We all have used it in watching movie or TV series or after recording our own videos. Sometimes we see that video comes as MKV, sometimes it is MP4 and some videos are playable online, some videos are not. So I'm going to explain the basic thing about video files, what is their internal structure and we'll share some of my knowledge on those video files. So we all know that there are different types of files, some files are documents, some files are just like text files and some files are media files like image and video. A text file is very easy, simple. We can just open it on a text editor like Notepad or Notepad++. Here the size of this text is the total size of file. But when it comes to media file, the structure of the file is not same. All co common video file is actually a container. So what do I mean by saying container? When you order a product on Amazon, you actually get a parcel okay all your product is actually parceled inside that box so all video file actually is a type of container and inside that container the media like the audio track video track subtitle track and some metadata like name of video artist name etc duration and codec information most importantly are saved so in basic term a video file like mp4 mkv or avi is actually a wrapper or a container of other bunch of things okay this is the uh, basic term but all the files are different all container type or video format like avi mp4 and mkv and the new optimized version developed by google is webm so all those things have different history they are all different there are some similarity but also the each one is unique in their own terms all files all video files are actually a wrapper or container to understand that i have brought here few video files okay the first one is big bug bunny which is a open source file most fun If all the videos are in same quality, still the internal structure is actually different. So how do we understand that? I'm opening my terminal here since I have FFmpeg installed. I will explain it with help of FFmpeg. Okay. I'm just getting the internal details of a video, which is the first one, bigbugbunny.avi file. Okay. So here, uh, as you can see, we have two stream one stream is stream zero another one is stream one okay so in stream zero we have video which is mpeg4 and we have audio which is mp3 so this video file actually working as a wrapper with two different thing one is video one is audio and combined this is an avi file and the codec for video is dx50 mpg4 we'll come it come to it later let's see about the mp4 file here in mp4 file we have some metadata and several stream the first stream is video which is encoded with h264 also known as avc this is totally a different compression format and the audio is AAC which is advanced audio codec in AVI we have seen mp3 now here it is AAC and we have another one which is mkv okay this one is an mkv file so here 
the audio is AAC with 4.8 kilohertz frame rate we have some metadata and we have also chapter in MKV along with metadata and first one first stream is HEVC this encoder is actually used for high quality video or ultra HD or similar kind of thing here the audio is AAC advanced audio coding video codec is different so why we are seeing the differences in all those files when we record a video with a camera the camera's processing power is used to encode the video so that the video size is lower by encoding i'm meaning to compressing the data if we keep the video file in raw one gigabyte of mp4 movie will be 10 gigabyte or more so we compress the data so that it is minimum in size there are different container format as you can see in mp4 mkv avi and some other thing so all those are actually serve different purpose apple also introduced mov which is actually easy to edit and microsoft is using avi and mp4 is actually motion picture group so all those things actually serves our purpose but all those video files is actually a container format or a wrapper or just a box which contain other things like audio video and subtitle so this is the basic structure of a video if you want to learn more you can always dive deeper here the mq file is also called matroska file format this is the internal structure how the data is actually stored so how the data is stored varies from one file to another this is for mkv file mkv file actually a embl a xml format for media it is a wrapper and for mp4 it is different so those are the basic file format and all of those have some traits of some advantage disadvantage in different situation and webm actually serves the purpose of using video online on streaming webm is popular so i hope you get the basic idea of video file format how it differs from typical type of file and what is special about it in the following tutorials of this series i'll try to explain the other thing like what is codec and what is the bit rate what is sampling rate of audio and similar things so if you are interested in this kind of thing please consider subscribing to my channel so that you do not miss other videos and as always have a good day